Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ETLQ Labs. So guys, uh, today we will talk about something very important in software testing. So the topic is uh, about what are those two major type of testing, right? So there are basically two major type of testing and every thing within the testing, uh, you know, uh, world uh, comes under these two uh, different category of testing, right? So uh, these two uh, major type of testing basically are uh, functional and non-functional testing, guys. Okay, so functional, uh, functional and non-functional. Okay, okay. We will uh, try to understand uh, this uh, two type of testing, right? And each and every other testing comes under this two only. You can categorize all kind of testing under this two major category. All right, major two uh, major type of testing, right? So, uh, as name suggests, guys, functional. Functional means basically uh, which has to do with uh, its, uh, you know, uh, what do you say? Mm, basically, the functionality, right? Or you can say the, you know, um, so for example, let's say I have, uh, for example, right? So, for functional testing, let's say I have a calculator, right? So for calculator, uh, what are those functionality that we need to test, right? So it should be addition, right? Subtraction, multiplication, or uh, maybe some scientific calculator than uh, all those uh, uh, mathematical, uh, you know, functions that you can uh, use sine theta, cos theta, etc. So all these things are basically nothing but these are the functionality, right? So functionality, which means actually it should be now uh, it should happen this way so for example addition if you are actually performing addition 2 plus 2 it should give you 5 right it should not give you something else right so if it is giving something else which means there is a problem with the functionality right so so anything to do with you know the the expected behavior of that particular uh, application is called the functional right functional uh, as you can understand now anything which has uh, any any um, you know um, uh, what you say the behavioral activity uh, that represents its functionality and related testing uh, to test those functionalities are called the functional testing guys all right so as i given you uh, example here for calculator now guys uh, these are all functional right these are all functional test functional they are the functional uh, uh, what is the aspect right functional aspect of calculator all right now guys there is a non-functional aspect also right so any guess what is non-functional aspect of the calculator I am just taking the calculator as an example now so what is the non-functional aspect of the calculator guys yes so non-functional aspect of uh, the calculator can be its uh, performance right its performance so if you are actually uh, let's say uh, hitting 2 it should uh, it should actually um, 2 plus 3 and then when you hit uh, equal to it should not take like minutes or something right it should come very quickly right as per our expectation right so that is something that the performance aspect right so that is that has nothing to do with the functionality right functionality is basically to add it and give you number it's giving you the addition let's say 2 plus 3 equal to 5 but actually the result that that is displayed on displayed there it's uh, actually having certain lag right or it's having certain uh, you know time it's taking more time right and uh, something else let's say for example uh, you know um, within the calculator itself right uh, let's say uh, um, some some other uh, you know issues uh, something related to for example so guys I'm just taking uh, I just took the you know uh, example yeah so for example the when you are actually performing something it should not crash right so this is also something related to your performance or you can say the stress or load kind of testing right so this, this these are the non-functional aspect of the calculator i think i just taken uh, some example randomly but this is not very appropriate that you know we can 
cover all the functional non functional functional aspect uh, about calculator i will take the appropriate you know example uh, when i discuss it uh, later point of time here only in this video right but uh, hopefully you understand it right so this is what the functional and non functional guys okay now uh, coming back to functional now so as you already understood the concept of it right what is the concept about the functional so any testing that we do around it it's called the um, you know uh, the functional testing some of the testing some of the i would say the level or the phases of testing that covers the functional testing is basically for example unit testing right or let's say regression testing integration testing so all these places actually we are actually trying to actually verify the functionality itself unit testing also we are trying to uh, test the functionality regression testing also we are trying to test whether functionality of uh, given application is working fine integration also basically checking the connectivity between you know modules and uh, other uh, example i can tell you um, system testing isn't it system test testing will ensure that the end to end uh, you know uh, uh, application is working right so these are uh, nothing but uh, you know example of the functional testing because we actually we are test trying to test all the functionality right here now coming back to non functional non functional basically as i said that it has nothing to do with the functionality functionality is all working fine but uh there are certain non functional attributes that we need to test right so what are those uh, one thing that i said is a performance testing so performance aspect right second one is uh, let's say security right or maybe scalability right or uh, scalability are probably uh, within performance we can say um, load testing and stress testing don't worry if you're not familiar about all these words but uh, you know i'll explain you later but uh, these are some uh, these are some of the you know uh, testing which comes under non functional the performance testing load testing stress testing security testing scalability testing right so performance testing uh, will have the two category now let's say load testing and stress testing uh we will see that but uh, these are some testing right so basically uh, to check whether you know in extre in the given uh, capacity so let's say i will just take example here guys i think that will make more sense let's say i'm taking example of amazon website right so i'm just taking the example of amazon website and we will try to understand each and everything here right so when i say functional testing basically uh, test if all the functionalities which means login search search item check out payment right all these functionalities are i mean all the different all these functionalities are working fine right so these are basically uh, the functional aspect of it right and all this testing are the different level of you know uh, different level that's where we do perform we perform the functional testing now we will take example of non functional guys so this is the non functional okay this is non nft non functional testing right and uh, these are functional testing okay all right so in nft guys as i said that we actually have to verify certain things here right so let's say when we are opening the website it should uh, it should actually it should be the response time should be good response time throughput right and uh, yeah so these are the certain performance aspect that we have to check right whether uh, you know throughput is correct and then response time is uh, you know um, good and uh, also we have to check whether you know uh, given number of uh, users let's say uh, the testing uh, the, the the website is expecting you to you know uh, uh, simultaneous login of uh, you know 100000 user 
and uh, if you are able to log in and uh, website is uh, you know not uh, degrading or you know it's having the the normal functionality means uh, the website is still working fine under those uh, uh, let's say 100,000 users I'm just taking example guys okay and website is still behaving very well and then uh, this is something that you know we can consider okay so if we are actually trying to put in li like let's say 150k users then if website is getting uh, means uh, the fun uh, the what you say the performance is degrading uh, then this is something that we have to uh, note it right and then we have to uh, tell them okay for this particular this much of user means a 150k user the website is not behaving properly right so if this is the requirement if business says that okay uh, we really don't uh, need 150k user 100k users are okay for us at simultaneous login right and then we don't need to do anything about it otherwise uh, this is something uh, you can uh, produce it right so this will come under load testing right and however this will come under stress testing because actually we are trying to stress it we are actually trying trying to you know uh, put more and more users and we are actually take checking whether the website is still responding proper right now um, similar to that i think we have the security testing right that also comes under non-functional so for example let's say i have uh, amazon pay amazon uh, account and you also have amazon account so there are two people are having amazon account right so uh, you know you should uh, you should have the proper you know security mechanism that uh, i should not be able to see anything uh, in your account right so those kind of uh, security should be there and it should not be you know um, means uh, easily you cannot break it isn't it so those kind of testing we need to do some proxy and uh, you know um, the login uh, login password etc i mean there should be a proper security mechanism right it should not be like that uh, you know it should be easy guessing password etc so those level of testing is required so for that let's say the password uh, um, you know password field can um, can uh, can be set up for certain uh, characters and uh, having some combination of character etc those kind of actually security mechanisms would be built on your uh, built on your login page itself right so those kind of things will come under security testing so the you know as part of security testing we have to try to break the system and try to uh, see that uh, you know we are able to um, see uh, we are able to you know see some information which is uh, which uh, I am not supposed to do which is uh, some other people's account etc right so that is the reason alright now scalability also guys so scalability will also come under functional so let's say one second guys so let's say uh, a scalability means uh, it the application should be scalable right so let's say tomorrow uh, you know uh, i have let's say i am right now i am okay with one uh, you know 100k users but tomorrow i want uh, 5000 uh, means uh, 500k right 500 so 500k user if i want to support uh, on this particular uh, you know website so my design should be scalable enough right so that scalability testing can also be done actually to ensure that it is scalable for the future right so these are the different type of testing basically but guys roughly everything within the testing comes either under functional and non-functional all right so hope you are able to understand this so everything like you know smoke test uh, you know sanity test everything comes under functional here anything to do with you know non-functional aspect of application comes under non-functional right so hope uh, you know I give you some good understanding about it uh, so so I think uh, you are able to you will be able to answer uh, this question right so that's all guys for this video and uh, I'll see you soon with the next video I think there are a lot many things to cover but um, sorry guys I'm not able to you know do it because uh, because of the time constraint yeah so but uh, i hope that whenever i get time i think uh, i will try to you know come up with uh, your questions because there are so many pending questions on the youtube channel but then uh, i'll try to you know manage some time guys sorry about that 
but yes i think you have still any questions on this uh, topic uh, please uh, feel free to comment and i'll be happy to answer okay until then uh, happy learning god bless you bye